Dun 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 So then just walked into the surgery room, which is right here, which is really cool that I actually can see whatever is happening out there. But yeah, he's gonna have his LASIK done and I have his glasses that if I wear them, I can't see anything. But I'm super excited for him to walk out of this room and be able to see without, without any glasses. decent amount better everything's a little bit blurry still because I have a lot of like drugs in my eyes but it's not bad it wasn't bad it didn't hurt it didn't hurt no there's no pain it's it was uh it was uncomfortable you know like they're like shit in your eye you go blind for a minute while they like suction stuff and cut your cornea open but it wasn't too bad it's really cool that you can actually see them working on you too yeah it's pretty cool all right I need to see you with my eyes closed yep. for a while now I think it's the coolest clinic I've ever seen. Check this out. It looks like a club. So here is where he did his uh, consultation yesterday, all his stuff. And then this is where he did his surgery. Well, it has been uh, four hours since I was done my surgery. The first two hours we stayed in the clinic, just kind of rested, and then um, he did like a little check to make sure everything was good. And then we headed back to the boat. Um, I feel pretty good, like I can see pretty well. My eyes, if you've ever worn contacts like for a little too long and they kind of get dry, that kind of what it feels like. Like I kind of want to just rub them, like they feel like there's just kind of something there. but. He, the doctor told me not to rub my eyes for the first two days for sure, so I'm not going to. But um, yeah, overall, I think it went really well. I'm pretty stoked to be able to see without wearing contacts or glasses. How did it feel, the surgery? How did the surgery feel? It certainly wasn't painful. It's was just it's just weird to have like someone in your eye and to be like looking and you can like see stuff coming and then you can like see it happening. Like it's just kind of weird. But it's, it's so quick that it, it really isn't too bad. We are back on a ferry heading to Cozumel today because Dan has his last appointment with a dentist. Whee! I'm more excited than last time because this time she's just putting the crowns on so there's not going to be as much grinding and drilling and needles and all of that awfulness. Hopefully it's just going to be like a little bit of glue and a little bit of like you're good to go. No, no glasses, new teeth. 
be a whole new me. <laughs> By the way, guys, I don't think I've mentioned before, but the ferries in Mexico are so cool. Like, it looks like we're in a spaceship. <laughs> and they go really fast. It makes it so much more enjoyable. You can just watch the bright and shine it out. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Chompers back. Okay. Well, I just got back from the dentist yesterday and my teeth are awesome. I know I definitely need some braces to work on my bottom teeth, but the problem with the lifestyle that we live is that we're never in one place long enough to see the same orthodontist long enough to actually get braces put on. It's also been about a week since I had my eyes lasered and it is amazing to be able to see without contacts and without glasses. Uh, glasses are super annoying, especially on a boat because there's always like uh, salt water humidity kind of mist. Like the air is just really humid with salt water and so the glasses are always dirty and they're always falling off my face. Uh, and for the last couple of months, I haven't been able to wear contacts because they just really irritate my eyes. So being able to see without either of those has been absolutely amazing. I went free diving under the boat today when just the mask on it was the first time I could like really see underwater and it was absolutely amazing I keep using the word amazing but life-changing like I don't even know how to describe it it's just been so nice to not need glasses and my vision's really really fantastic but it's also somewhat of a bittersweet gift because I uh, want to explain it hi yeah, okay. <laughs> as you guys might Remember, uh, my mom passed away about a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. and she had a small savings account. It's enough to do one big thing that's meaningful, and I didn't want it to be something that was a bought object, or yeah, like something that could break, or something... A new camera or something yeah. that's just going to die in six months anyway. Yeah, anything that could break, anything that could be stolen. If it crashes, I would feel bad because if it's a gift from my mom. I decided that her gift to Dan would be the laser mm -hmm. and it's something I guess special because it's something it's he will carry amazing. for the rest of his life yeah. which I think it's, it's extra it's special. pretty amazing to get such a life-changing gift from someone um, who's not around anymore as for me I'm also doing some sort of laser mm -hmm. it's not <laughs> it's not the same laser but uh, it's, it's still laser and it's <laughs> so. also kind of life-changing I mean if you're a girl you'll probably understand what it's like. By the way guys, this adorable little four-year-old just came on our boat and drew like all over the chalkboard. <laughs> oh yeah, she was so awesome. <laughs> Might be the youngest person who's ever drawn on our boat. Oh look! <laughs> Hi, yeah. So I'm in front of Yontra Beauty Clinic and today I'm going to officially be hairless. <laughs> Completely hairless. Like like a cat. <laughs> like a hairless Chinese cat. What? Are you nervous? Yes. 
Is it gonna hurt? I don't know. That's the thing. I heard. I keep hearing it doesn't hurt, but I don't know. We'll see. But I'm really excited because having hair sucks. The thing is, like, on a sailboat, it's so annoying to have to shave all the time, and God, I'm not going to wax myself. That's for sure. And so for me, it's kind of a big investment that I don't have to buy razors all the time or find a salon that does waxing. After a few sessions, I don't have to worry about having hair ever again. So I think it's... Oh my god, it's not that good. And also, like, especially with razors, disposable razors, you throw away plastic and that's more plastic in the world, right? So I don't know, I think it's... it's it's a really good investment for my part. So, thanks, mom, because she's basically funding this little thing for me. and then it feels really hot and then a second later it's done it but it's the same thing like over and over it's like psh, psh, psh. you're like ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> no more shaving for me how's your pain tolerance as normal like human beings i'm usually very bad with pain so if it, i say it didn't hurt that much it means it probably won't hurt you as much As you guys know, we've been spending this month here in Mexico to really focus on ourselves and our well-being. Uh, we did all the work in the Rio and that was exhausting. We know we have a whole bunch more work to do on the boat in Florida and so we're just sort of using this month as just to chill and take a break and do some stuff that we needed to do. And a lot of those things include medical treatments because here in Mexico and Cancun they have some of the best doctors and it's also very cheap <laughs> very affordable that's kind of why we decided to do all that here and i know some of you will ask about the prices that we had to pay for those treatment here and since um, we did a whole video about money recently yeah. it seems fair to tell you so the dentist in total i got a root canal and two crowns put in and all of that work cost just less than a thousand dollars and my laser eye surgery um came in actually right I at a thousand dollars yeah 997 like dollars yeah, or yeah, something yeah. uh and that was for both eyes and that included the consultation and like my eye drops and stuff after and it includes going back and seeing the doctor before we leave to make sure everything's good so compare that to price in the u.s and it's at least four or five times cheaper uh, and my hair laser treatment um, here it costs about $200 per session and I'll try to do about two sessions here mm -hmm. and in the States I think they run about 500 um, and I'll only have like three or four sessions left to do in the States and I'll be done with that so that's good so yeah so if you guys want to uh, get some medical work done you can come on down, come on to, down Cancun. to Cancun <laughs> no but but seriously uh, flights from the United States to Cancun are sounds like we're making a commercial for Cancun but we're trying to just let you guys know because information out there isn't always as available as you'd like. So for some things idea. like dental, you're, if you have insurance, it might cover it. But for sort of cosmetic surgeries like LASIK or laser hair removal, it, it, it probably won't. So, yeah. yeah, it's just something to think about if that's something you're interested in. Well, that's pretty much what we think about medical tourism or medical vacation here in Cancun. Make sure you guys come back next week because we have something extra special for you. <laughs> Until then... Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Not really too much fun, can't you? <laughs> At least one of us is.